My brothers and sisters, we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon all conditions. And we send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his household, his companions. May Allah bless every one of us too and protect us from all evil. My brothers and sisters, the first reminder as usual is the reminder to draw closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To become closer to Allah as the days pass. For indeed, every passing day is a day closer to the day that we will be meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, calamity strikes. Difficulty was promised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to humankind. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he will test us. And he will continue to test us with various tests. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us that he has favored us in ways that we will never ever know. He has favored us in ways we will never be able to gather if we were to try and count them. Listen to what Allah says. Indeed, if you are to count the favors of Allah upon you, you will never be able to count them all. And indeed, man is not only oppressive, but ungrateful too. May Allah not make us from among those who are ungrateful. So my brothers and sisters, in every difficulty and every hardship, there is always a silver lining. There is always ease. In fact, there is more ease than hardship in every difficult situation. Take a look at those, even the non-believers, who have succeeded in this worldly life that is very temporary. Many times we hear of how they had failed initially, and as a direct result of that failure, they ended up in a place where they succeeded in an unimaginable way. Many have dropped out of colleges and then succeeded. Many have lost in business and then succeeded. Many have been fired from their employment and then succeeded. Wasn't this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who knew and knows the future always? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us to comprehend and understand. We are definitely going through challenging times across the globe at the moment. But my brothers and sisters, a lot of goodness has come out of this. What I've learned from COVID-19 is something amazing. Yes, as difficult as it is, and as much as it pains us to see those affected and to see it spreading and to see the toll rising, and many people losing their lives on a daily basis as much as it pains us and we keep praying and we keep trying let's look at some of the positives firstly the favors of Allah upon us are great my brothers and sisters many people have developed a better relationship with Allah than ever before in their lifetimes people have realized the presence of Allah, the reality of where we're heading, how temporary this life is and how quickly it can actually be taken away. We are definitely going somewhere. Where? Well, Allah has told us the one who created us in the first place. He is the one who will resurrect us and he is the one who will take care of us. Subhanallah, it is something amazing. People are starting to ponder over the Almighty for the first time. Those who've never had belief, those who've been weak in their belief are starting to think about the Almighty, starting to turn to Him. People who've never prayed have started praying. People who've never thought about being modest are now taking it more seriously. People who've never thought about the prohibitions and why they are there have now started staying away from these prohibitions is this not in a way part of the favors of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let's take a look at the first point gaining closeness to allah 
how many of you and let's be honest have become more conscious of Allah as a result of what's going on as a result of witnessing the helplessness of everybody across the board as a result of witnessing a virus that we cannot see with the naked eye spread like wildfire across the globe how many of us have become closer to the Almighty developed a consciousness upon levels that never was within our own hearts, minds, bodies and systems. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. So every time there is a negativity, whenever we get closer to Allah because of that negativity in our lives, it is actually the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why sometimes when we're distant from Allah, Allah taps us out of his love. A reminder to say, turn to me. I am the supreme. I made you in the first place. I created you. I've provided the basics for you and at times even more than the basics. You're going to come back to me and I'm the one who's going to take care of you forever and ever. Subhanallah. All praise is due to Allah. Glory be to Allah. Alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, none is worthy of worship besides the maker, the nourisher, the cherisher, the sustainer, the provider, the protector, the curer, the one in whose hands lies absolute control of everything in existence. Rabbul Alameen, Allah Almighty. My brothers and sisters, how many of us have started praying five times a day, even if it means simply the farad that which is compulsory make no mistake more than any other act of worship the almighty loves those acts that he has made compulsory upon us that's why he made these acts compulsory subhanallah because he loves them so much so even if we have started with only that which is obligatory or farad we have succeeded to a great degree and allah's favor is manifest and clear my brothers and sisters, let's take a look at another favor of Allah. What I've learned from COVID-19 is amazing. Many families have never spent time together before. It is the first time that they are actually connected and connecting and spending time and getting to know each other and sacrificing with one another. Isn't that a favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Many have not been eating together as a family and for the first time they are not only eating together but even praying together mashallah tabarakallah and this is why we say we are in it together because we are in it together we've got to take this seriously with the mercy of allah with the help from allah using whatever capacity has been bestowed upon us by allah whatever restrictions that need to be put in place inshallah we will be over this very, very soon. Learn to speak to people, giving them hope, encouraging them, praying for them, and do that which is definitely filled with wisdom. Do that which is responsible, my brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless every one of us. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.